Hi Excel Mac users. In this video I'm going to show you how to combine tables from multiple worksheets. So let's say for example we get multiple worksheets from different departments. So let's say I have an Americas, I have product information from Americas for a calendar year, same thing for Europe and the same thing from Asia. And I want to sum all of that together. So instead of trying to do multiple copy and paste and trying to add it, we can actually use a feature in Excel called Consolidate to do this. So as long as your headers are the same, so for example we have product 1, product 2, product 3, and they are the same for my worksheets, and my labels are the same here, January for Jan to December, shouldn't be a problem. What we need to do is go into Data and go into Consolidate. And here I can ha actually have different functions. I might have mentioned earlier about summing, but there are other options that we have. We can count, we can average, min, max, we can do the product, uh, count numbers, and various st statistical functions, standard deviation variance. But all we want to do in this example is sum it. Now I need to add my references, so I'm going to add my first references. This is the Americas. And add that in there. So we have our Americas and my next one is going to be Europe here. You can see that's in a selected Americas. And we kind of have the same thing. It kind of selected it for me already or that range where I'm at. I'll show you in another example where that might not matter but let's do this example first. I got Europe. Let's add that in there and let's do Asia and we have Asia in here and we're going to add that in there and our labels are in the top row and also the left column Jan, Jan to December so I'll click that click OK and we have it here unfortunately I forgot that I need this kind of select my area let's get rid of all this let's delete that and just and just do it again do it really quick I'm going to remove all that clear all and then remove the um, and clear my outline here. Let's get rid of that. Oops. Let me just delete some of these columns here because I think the, the formatting has taken that all from a previous setting. Go click in cell A. Let's do it again. So I'm in cell A1. Let's consolidate. We have everything here. Create and and this particular option, I forgot to mention that. Let's unclick, uncheck that and see what happens. When we create links to the source data, that means that when we change some value in the source data, it's going to update in this final sheet, right? So I click OK, and now we have a product here. So it's easy to remember. I made it easy to remember. October is all going to be equal to 30 because each one of them is 10, 10, 10, 10. Europe is also 10, 10, 10 and Asia is 10, 10, 10. But if I change something, maybe a, let's just change this to some ridiculous number, right? We'll change it to like a million. It doesn't change here, but if I did the consolidate feature and have it linked, it would have changed. Let's change this back to 10 and remove all this, delete that. Let's delete this again. And let's use the consolidate feature with the linkages. So if I select it, create links, click OK, you notice now it's giving me an outline here. And it's taken the different months and also summed it up here. Let's break, let's um, close that out or consolidate it and make it smaller. If, for example, I did October in Asia and made it a million, now you can see there's going to be a huge number here. And that's what the consolidate feature with that linkage does. So that's kind of a nice feature that it has there in case you had any updates you wanted to do. Now with the second example here, make sure I deleted it here. The second example here, we have the same thing. Americas has product one, two, and three, but in Europe we only have products one and two and you can notice that it's also backwards. Two comes first, product one comes later, and for Asia we have only one column for product. It doesn't matter. As long as your labels are the same, Excel is going to figure it out. So, so let's see if it works. So go to Data, Consolidate, and 
we are not let's see I think I did this earlier let's let's remove these so I can show you how it it work if it really works right so we have our sum let's add our references our first one's going to be the Americas right and then we'll add that the second one is going to be Europe right and then the third one will be Asia And we will add that in there. And we'll, let's create links to the source. We'll use our labels from the top row and left column. Click OK. And now we've got our values. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So you notice we had 10 here. Europe had 1,000. And Asia had nothing. So, right, so that gives us our values here for October. 1,000 plus 10, 1,000 plus 10. And Asia had just the 10 for product. Asia did, just had didn't have um, product two or three there, so we would only add up for for product three. We would only add up uh, the one for Americas, right? Because Americas was the only one that had product three. Europe didn't have it, and Asia didn't have it, right? One thing to note about the linkages is if we had a blank and we added something in here, let's say we added a million. It does not update on our final uh, for product. It was product one, right? Didn't update. And the reason why is because it was blank. So if we had that as zero instead and then updated it, let's remove all this. Right click, uh, delete, and then let's un unclear our outline. And we do it over again. If we did our consolidate feature, and I think it will just take from there, click OK. And now we have October for product one, Asia. It's zero, but let's make that a million. Press enter. Now that shows up. So one thing to note is that if you have a blank in your area or your cell, and you think that when you use the link feature, and it updates, it won't because you need to have a value in there. But that's just something to pay attention to if you use the consolidate feature. So there's our two examples of using the consolidate feature to combine tables from multiple worksheets. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.